All right, hey everybody. Uh, Mailbag's gonna be starting before too long. Wait a minute, who, who did this? Did DJ come in here this morning and do this, or did the kittens actually do this themselves? I don't believe DJ would have come in here and done this this morning. I just pulled it out, but this was just put in here. The kittens had to put it in there, right? I didn't do that. What are the chances? That's crazy. You don't know what I'm talking about. The camera's not on there. Hang on, I got you. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This, just like that, look at that. That's insanity. I, I don't know how the kids managed that one. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, DJ didn't even come in here this morning. She's been gone. She, she left it for work last night, so I know it wasn't her. That's really something. Good job, kids. Uh, so mailbag. Mailbag will be starting soon. Um, I've got to make some coffee and bring the mail in. There's hardly any of it. It's going to be a very short mailbag, so I hope you can excuse me for being a couple minutes late. And I'm going to put this on because I couldn't find a butterfly. i got to go find a butterfly for these kids. It's probably in the annex upstairs. But I'll just put on this little toy here and see if this gets their attention. I'm going to go make some coffee. I'm going to bring the mail in, and then it will be the world's shortest mailbag after that because there's only a couple boxes. It's very short. Is that getting your attention, kids? Should I turn the sound off? It's getting your attention. Come check it out. Come here, come check it out. They're coming. They're coming. Who's first? Oh, what does it mean? One more? Here he comes. All right, now that it has their attention, I'm going to turn the chirpy sound off because that's too much. It probably sounds even worse on the stream. And I'll be back in just a couple minutes. What are you looking at, kiddos? What do you think that is? What do you think it means, huh? Okay. That's the mailbag right there. That's all of it, but I still don't need my coffee. So there he was.
All right, kids. We got coffee. We got mail. Uh, I got a toy that's just going to sit right here, I think, while we do mailbag. Uh, let's see. It's this pillow. I'm going to bother to go get the other one. Like I said, it's going to be a real short one today. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to check the cameras with you guys. Hi. Oh. Ah, there we go. How are you doing? Yeah, meow yeah, you too. You want to sit in my lap? Yeah, you're a lap kitty. I know you are. You love the lap. So, uh, news-wise, you know that I just got confirmation uh, from, um, well, I got, uh, okay, she's going for her spay. Thimble here is going to go get her spay on Monday. I just talked to the vet at uh, Aristocats about that. And uh, it's unusual for us to have dental work done on a mom cat, but when she goes in on Monday, uh, we've also asked to have some dental work done, or at least have her teeth looked at and see if the doc thinks there's any dental work to be done. Uh, just because, you know, her, her, the way she acts seems bizarre, and I do think that she's got some, some possible tooth issues going on. So it would be nice if, uh, if we fixed that for her and saw if that made any change to her attitude, as well as the spay might also be uh, something that makes a big change in her attitude. So it'll be fun to see who she is uh, after Monday. Um, well, after Monday and after long enough for recovered from whatever happens on Monday. But uh, yeah, well, so we're keeping an eye on that. Um, let me check the cameras here, make sure we're recording and everything. We are recording. And I think the angle on the camera is good enough. So we will keep rolling. Um, so uh, yeah, little thimble here, get going for her spay on Monday. I know I might've said before it was supposed to be on Wednesday, but there was some scheduling mix up. So we moved it to Monday. And uh, that's when it'll be, this coming Monday. She'll be out all day getting that taken care of uh then the other of course the really big news is that we have a new cat coming today a new mom cat arriving at the academy and the annex is already cleaned but i do need to still set it up for her there's a i need to you know put in blankets and toys and some beds for her and the food and the litter box so all that stuff and so make sure the cameras are set up but uh, but it's already clean so that's not too much work and i'm really excited about that now some of you might have heard that we were originally expecting to get a mom cat and her already uh, kittens, her six four week old kittens. But that turns out to not be the case. Uh, that mom cat and her six four week old kittens already found another foster through Dawes, I believe. So uh, they um, are gonna go to that other foster and Dawes is going to sort of reserve us for mom cats that are still pregnant since that's sort of what we, we know how to do best. Um, and uh, anybody, frankly, anybody, I, I highly recommend if you are going to start fostering and you want to start fostering kittens, starting with four-week-old kittens is great, and starting with four-week-old kittens that have their own mom there to help take care of them, even better. That's pretty much the best kitten fostering scenario, so it's a great starter pack for somebody that wants to start fostering and a great way to start learning, uh, whereas for us, uh, we can take something that's just a little bit more advanced, and of course, we're not even at the peak of, of what's advanced fostering you know, uh, needless to say, uh, some people take the real hard cases and we, we try to avoid that. <laughs> um, you know, we would if it came to it, but uh, thank goodness there's people out there that really deal with the, the difficult, uh, the truly difficult and, and uh, challenging fostering, which, you know, sometimes we get a, some, sometimes it's a little bit challenging uh, by accident and that's fine too. <laughs> I'm pointing over at Thimble back there. Uh, she, she's got her own little issues, but uh, nothing like taking care of you know, little neonatal kittens that don't have uh, their moms around like uh, like Sarah Donner does so often. Uh, that's a challenge all on its own and just uh, rife with, with heartbreak. Uh, so I, I really respect people that can do that kind of thing. Uh, or feral cats for that matter. Sometimes feral cats need fostering for a while and uh, we definitely try to stay. That's a whole other kind of challenge. We had uh, some friends at On Angel's Wings uh, that would do that. The, the cats that were just hard, 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 hard to work with uh, and always successful. So lots of respect for those people. Anyway, uh, I felt like some extra rambling because of the tiny little mail bag that we have today. And that's good, by the way. I think this is the perfect amount of mail in general and even better today when there's some room to set up uh, and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started here. Hi, can I get in this box for a minute, buddy? 
Okay. I think, by the way, to help make up for the fact that today's mailbag is uh, so short for you guys, if you had planned on spending a little longer watching, right after mailbag, the first thing I will do uh, is bring up the tissue pit. And we'll put the tissue pit out, and we can watch if these kids want to play with a big tissue pit now that they've learned on the miniature, uh, you know, Japanese uh, tub one. So. All right. This is so cute. It looks like a late Christmas card. It's beautiful. It's um, it's some little uh, watercolors of cats enjoying Christmas things. Uh, there's a Christmas uh, ornaments and then uh, presents and lights, and they're all dressed up in Christmas sweaters and hats, and of course a Christmas coconut. Uh, so it is perfect. There's the little Christmas coconut, as you can see. <laughs> all right. And it says inside, Mr. A, DJ Faculty, Mom, Cats, and Tiny's Happy Christmas from Myths 50. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Myths 50. And the H family is what we'll say. There we go. Uh, much thanks. I guess uh, that probably arrived late, but I don't mind. We don't stand on dates here. Then we have another letter today that comes covered in stickers. Oh, my goodness. It has got so many shiny little cute stickers on it. I love this little rainbow. Uh, there's some cats on the beach. There's a whole bunch of owls on the back. Very sparkly owls and a pineapple, of course. How appropriate. So let's see what it says. It says, hi there, with another owl. So this is clearly somebody who quite enjoys their owls. Uh, it's, it's funny. DJ was talking about um, how... Uh, Cats are the cutest of all animals. She was thinking of everything in the entire animal world. Cats and kittens have got to be the best looking animals there are. And I said, well, I don't know. You know, there's, I mean, obviously they're, they're up there in the top 10. But uh, my first thought of another animal that's extremely cute was an owl. So that's fun for me. Okay. Uh, this is just an answer to avoid spoilers. Oh, that's cute. We've got it. We've got it because it's on a, basically a postcard. We've still got spoiler proofing on the back of it. Uh, so let's see, this says, okay to read on stream. That is perfect. And the owl says, hi there. And inside it says, dear Mr. A, I've decided you don't get enough cards with owls on them. So I'm doing my part to fix that at least a little. Well, there you go. Uh, well, I doubt you identify with owls as much as I do. I feel like you'd appreciate how they're basically wild cats with wings. They're fierce, well adapted to hunting small prey, and active mostly at dusk and dawn. There are several owl cams where you can watch fuzzy owlets grow up into full-fledged owls. Their play is a lot like kittens, and they sleep about the same amount. Wow, I can't even imagine little baby owls playing. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm aware that those owl camps are out there, but I never thought of that. I never thought of uh, baby birds as being sort of playful. But, they, you know, you think about it, they must be. Uh, again, same reason the kittens are, really, because playing is one of the ways that they develop not just that that ability to hunt. Um, that, you know, it's, it's not just... It works off some of that desire to hunt, and it, it helps satisfy that urge when they're too young to actually do it. Plus, it helps them learn, you know, how to react. And, it, of course, as we always say, it, it helps build up those muscles, too. They've got a lot of work out to do when they're little so that they can be big hunters when they get older. So it makes perfect sense that owls would have to do that as well. Uh, you say, their facial expressions are ridiculous. Yes, indeed. And it's adorable when their dignity is threatened. They have that same vibe of small but deadly. I keep starting drafts of a letter telling you how important KA has been to me since a friend started sending me close-ups of verses, huge class. I keep getting bogged down with all I want to express, and it's always inadequate. So instead, I'm breaking the ice with this short note and will send you small doses of gratitude as I feel inspired. Be well and keep up the excellent, important work. Uh, you kind of ran out of room here at the bottom, but I think uh, you say, a.k.a. Alice the Owl on Discord, of course, which I, so I'm assuming that your little uh, the scratch here, I can't read, must say Alice. So, uh, a.k.a. Alice the Owl on Discord, and then we've got on the back the spoiler. P.S. My cat's name is Tybalt, pronounced Tibbullet. Okay, Tib Tibbolt. Okay. And it calms him down if he's distressed to hear your voice on a close-up. Also, when I speak French for some reason, my vocabulary is very limited, so I've been picking up more. I learned some French people describe their pets as Mimi, short for min mignon, just like the steak, which is French for cute. Isn't that adorable? It is. It is very cute. Uh, any 
fellow, oh, a PPS, any fellow owl lovers on or stationary addicts can find this card or many other lovely designs to write on at the Etsy store below. I'm not affiliated, nor do I get a cut, but I like to let people know where I find neat things. My future letters will show off a few of Karen's offerings. And this is from Karen's Fine Line Stationery at karensstationery.etsy.com. Uh, that is a very cute uh, owl drawing, by the way. So I like that quite a bit. Well, thank you so much, uh, Alice the Owl. Um, that is a wonderful card and full of wonderful owl things. And I'm so glad you decided to write to me. Don't feel the least bit bad about that. And if you're on Discord, you can always reach me there if you have something to say. But I love getting the cards that I can read to everybody. Uh, that's so special for me. So thank you very, very much for sending that. And uh, thank you for being such a devoted watcher of kittens, even if owls are your main jam. I think that's still pretty fun. So uh, thanks one more time. Okay, uh, let's open these packages. Keep it rolling here uh, after I have a sip of coffee, of course. Mm. Uh, that's good coffee. It's my Eddie mug. Uh, I have so uh, you know we have these prints of the the faculty mugs. Um, uh, I need to get caught up on the store. That's a whole other thing. Um, Anyway, we have these prints, had these prints of the, the faculty, and uh, I put one, uh, uh, well, so I bought one of each, of course, and then um, the Eddie mug broke, and so I bought a new one, and someone sent me a new one, too, because I had mentioned that the Eddie one had broken, so I, now I have two Eddie mugs, so I took the entire set of faculty mugs, and I put them up in our cabinet of special things, so I will have them indefinitely. But because of that extra Eddie mug, I get to actually use his and see it once in a while. The other ones are just put away. Uh, so I think that's kind of fun. It really worked out that we got that extra one. Um, and please don't think that it would be a good idea. I've got so many coffee mugs. If I had the rest of the faculty, then I would just end up putting away two sets uh, for indefinitely. <laughs> so, wow, I think this one is a little early, even though the note says, yep, it's that time of year. Invasion of these guys. Use as you see fit. Uh, so these are, wow, I've never seen these. These are very cute. These are very cute little sparkly uh, emoji poops. Now they're little gel poops. Um, I guess they're rubber, and I bet they, they feel like they would bounce really well, which would make them super useful. Anyway, I don't know if you can see, but they're all transparent. They're all sparkly. They're filled with sprinkle sparkles, and they each have a different little emoji face on them. Wow, they're very, very cute. And uh, you say it's that time of year. Again, I think you're a little early because generally I think people celebrate. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, maybe I don't even know. For some reason, I thought the poop anniversary was uh, associated with the start of the stream. Um, but I guess it really wasn't. It couldn't have been it because the first mailbag wasn't at the start of the stream. And it's really associated with that. So somebody's going to have to tell me when poop anniversary is or if it is when the stream started way back. Uh, and I happen to know that would be April 20th, 21st, depending on how you count. Um, so you'd be early for that, but uh, maybe not early for uh, the poops in general. Anyway, these are, these are really, really cute. Uh, and if they bounce, I'm going to throw one, okay? Let me toss a poop here. Hang on. Uh, here, let's just... oh, oh, wow, they bounce a little too well. That's awesome. Okay. That would be something great for a kitten to chase. <laughs> Uh, I might even be able to stick one of uh, Logan's feathers in there, too, and they make a good weight for that. So these are going to have, uh, they can definitely go to some good purpose around here. I love that bouncy rubber, though. That's going to be super fun for these guys. Here, let me toss another one, and then uh, let me throw some poop around. There's a, there's a uh, colloquialism for that, uh, throwing poop around that uh, you can't use on the stream because it involves a word. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how I feel right now, in the best way. All right, so uh, it says, yep, yeah, it's that time of year invasion of these guys. Use as you see fit from Lynn. All right, Lynn, uh, thank you so much for the poops, actually. They're adorable little poops. And um, like I said, they will actually go to some good use around here. Uh, I think they'll be fun for kittens, of course. They're a little tiny, but these kids already know not to eat random things. They might pick them up and carry them around, but they're a little too big to accidentally swallow, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, and if they manage to chew up a small enough piece to eat, then I'm sure it would pass right through and come out the other end legitimately poop. So uh, that's a good point. That's going to be fun for them. And because uh, they're weird-shaped rubber ball material, they bounce in weird directions. I 
kids will like that even more. Although I see they smelled them and they went on to other things. That's fine. Like I said, uh, I've got a whole box of those little worms, and if I stuff a worm on one of those, that might be the way to really take it to the next level. Okay, well, I recognize a bag of springs. Uh, where's the note, though? Let's see here. Aw, hi, Tiny Tubs. We hope you enjoy some of our favorite toys. Love, Tahini and Flair. All right, I thought Tahini and Flair already got the tubs and everything, but here we go with some extra springs. There we go. Wow, a giant pack of springs for each of these little guys. That is a lot of springs. Uh, I know they do like the springs, although I don't know if I see any in here right now. The springs are always the things that end up... Uh, oh, there's one right there. The, the things that they always end up stuck in... A, oh, and there's one right in front of me. Crying out loud. Uh, stuck in our, our air vent registers, the, the return registers in the floor. <laughs> they get in there, and that's just where they live until I pull them out, and the kittens get to play with them again. Hey, buddy. You were looking the wrong way when I threw that. Oh, but it made a noise. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Tahini and Flair. I, you guys have uh, really stuck with that a long time, and I love it. Every single class gets some of those. It's great. Okay. Next up for mailbag, let's see. Rip it apart like the Hulk. Uh, oh, this is also poop. Yep, it's that time of year invasion of these guys. Please deploy some from, once again, from Lynn. All right, Lynn, thank you so much for these guys. Uh, this is cute, too, because this reminds me of, uh, let's see, i got to take a look at these. What does it say? It says, emoticon poop plush. Yeah, how is it that none of these have faces? Oh, okay. Huh, okay, I just happened to have them turned. They were all facing the same direction. So, yeah, we actually had a set that was like this one. I think that we got it our very first poop day. Poop day? Is that what we're calling it? I don't know what we're calling it. Um, and they hung around the uh, the place for a long time, and some of them even made the move here to Connecticut. From Illinois. Somebody's stealing the bag. Some of them even made the move here to Connecticut from Illinois. Um, and uh, there might even be one or two still around, although I doubt it. So it's very cute that now we have a new set of the very same ones. And I think these kids will love them. And I will deploy them, but I wonder if they might make a good candidate to soak in some catnip first so the kittens can really enjoy them. Uh, they're cute, though. They're cute. They're soft. They're perfect. Uh, DJ's going to want me to cut every single one of these tags off. Uh, and like I said, I think if we toss them with some catnip, because they're not catnip toys. They're just uh, plushy poop emojis, but they're very soft. They would make perfect catnip toys once we put them in some of the Yow catnip for a while. Uh, so we will do that, and then we'll get these things tossed around. Uh, Lynn, thank you again for that. Mm. Okay. Then we have... Okay, just says Kitten Academy. Let's find out. Oh, the butterflies, the Jackson Galaxy butterflies. These turned out to be, I was skeptical of these at first, but we've used them and uh, they work very well. And you're right. Uh, so this is, this says, I thought these would look cute in the new kitten room. You're exactly right. These are a perfect idea for the new kitten room. But the fun thing about these, I don't know if you realize, is that each one has a tiny loop in the front. So they also make excellent wand toys uh, to use on the end of one of the wands. Uh, but then you can also just toss them around and they like to play with them that way. So uh, that's great. These are these are great. Uh, we were sent these a while ago, um, and I kind of kept them around for a while. I'm like, they're all right. They're these little weird, crinkly-sounding cloth butterflies. Um, and uh, I thought they're a little strange. Maybe the cats will like them. Maybe they won't. But then I finally got some out, and they actually do love them. I thought you were Eddie for a minute. Oh, my God. I really thought this was Eddie coming up to me. And then I had a moment of panic, absolute panic, when I realized, wait, how did Eddie get in here? He's going to get attacked. But you're not Eddie. You're not ready at all. Okay, uh, so you were saying, I thought these would look cute in the new kitten room. Otherwise, feel free to use as you see fit from Frozen Tundra Crew. Well, Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much. That is a, a you are exactly right. This is perfect to go with the decor that we've got in the current main room. They just ran over that poop and it moved. And now uh, 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 the boy is checking it out. The boy, uh, Silo. Wow. These names, I gotta get these names to stick before they go home. Uh, silo, barrel, cistern. Okay, I can do this. So, um, yeah, I think that's perfect. And maybe while I'm down there digging up that tissue pit, I need to find something to kind of fill that corner where the beanbag was. The room looks a little bit 
bear. It's not. It's full of toys, of course, but it doesn't look great on the camera. I got to put something over there. There's so many things in the basement to choose from. And I almost have been thinking uh, after pulling those mushrooms out and seeing how colorful they are. Uh, you know, I originally thought that we had like a forest theme and a rainbows and unicorn theme. But I'm thinking that if we just combine those two, we kind of have like an enchanted forest theme at that point, especially with the way those mushrooms look. I think that works out really well, right? So I should just grab something that was still down there from the unicorn theme and maybe put that out. Uh, and there is the, the unicorn, the tall standing unicorn for them to climb up and down. That might work. I think we should. I think we should just record. But easy for me to say. All right, I got it. Uh, I think that's a good idea. We'll see. Uh, obviously, my priority today is getting things set up for the new mom. Oh, and if you're wondering when the new mom is coming, uh, that pickup is uh, supposed to be pretty late. The transport comes from a long way off, so we're never sure that the timing is going to be even what it's supposed to be. But if everything goes according to plan, she'll probably be here just after 8 p.m. Uh, maybe later, maybe a little earlier. Uh, who knows? Okay, this says it is from Crumb and Smidgen. Oh, the alumni, how sweet is that? Oh, and they sent these little package things, they're so cute. First off, there's a note, and it says, The note, okay to read on stream. Perfect, just like we like. And so we will do that. Uh, hang on here, separate the wheat from the chaff over there. All right. Uh, we've got a beautiful looking rainbow colored fox. Uh, he looks like he's been to um, uh, that, that northern Indian holiday where they throw around all the colors. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. And then he's also got big glasses on him, flowers on him. Uh, Holy, I think is the name of the holiday I'm thinking of. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, dear Mr. A, DJ, faculty, and thimble tubs, greetings from Smidgen and Crumb. We wanted to share some of our favorite things with this class of kittens. We also sent a package for Uncle Logan that he can share or keep all to himself. We miss you, but love our new big brothers. They're huge, but we're trying to catch up. The package contains a bouncy worm toy, Smidgen's favorite, and a bag of greenies. Luckily, our human got us some of... Uh, Let's got to summon. I crumble would uh, would have to come fight you for them. Oh, or, or I I got got to summon. I crumble would have to crumble. You would have to come fight you for them. There's also a feather ball toy and a gift card. Moogles to you all, crumb and smidgy. Aw, that's so sweet. I miss those kids. Uh, so this is Uncle Logan. Look how cute this little bag is with a tie to the bow and it's got the gold spots on it. And it says Uncle Logan. That is adorable. Uh, and Uncle Logan gets, yes, I think this is probably everything you mentioned, but I would like to show it off anyway. Okay, I think that's everything. Ooh, here is a ball with a feather on it. It says, happy nip, more potent than catnip. Well, that'll be interesting. Uh, and the most interesting thing about this is that the ball and the feather are attached with Velcro. That is interesting, isn't it? I don't know if that's practical because I feel like the ball and the feather get worn out at about the same rate, uh, but maybe I'm wrong about that. And then, yes, these are great. Uh, this is exactly what I was saying I was going to do with the poop. Uh, they are little rubber balls with the worms stuck into them so that they, you can throw them around. Uh, and they're, they're rubber bouncy balls. And these are one of the best ones uh, as far as that goes. I've seen so many toys that, that use that little worm with something else. They're, they're usually found out, by the way. Uh, so thank you so much for these. Uh, but Logan does like his little worms even better if they have something on there to give them a little bit of heft. The trick is you don't want too much heft. Uh, there's a set that you can find on Amazon that has these wooden balls and bells on them. Those are deadly. I mean, they will break our walls and destroy our house. And uh, like if you toss them, they're loud on the floor, and the balls are, are just too heavy, and they hit things and dent things. Uh, um, and uh, you know, it's uh, they're, they're not they're not the wooden ones are not great. The ones with the wooden balls on them are not great. Uh, rubber balls are perfect. I love these because I can throw them around. And they bounce and they go crazy. Uh, those are a lot of fun. Um, and then there's also some. Uh, he's got a set that's got. Uh, like a ping pong ball that has, you know, like a rattle something in it. So it makes a rattly sound, but it's also real light on the ping pong ball. Those are great too. 
so this is perfect. Uh, little Logan is going to really appreciate this. He carries these things around all day, and he uh, meows at me with his cute little let's play meow. You know the one that's like, meow. Uh, and um, when he's in the bedroom overnight, too, he, he gathers these and brings them to me all night while I'm sound asleep. And uh, I'm sure he tries to wake me up, but I never do. And then when I wake up in the morning, there's an entire pile of these little worms just laid out around my bed and on the bed. And, uh, it's, it's adorable. So that is the perfect stuff for him. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to put that over here since it says Uncle Logan. And then let's take a look real quick at the rest of these are, uh, I guess not labeled, but it looks like one, two, three, four. So they must be uh, one for Thimble and one for each of her kittens. And so we can just pick one at random and open them. Since they're not labeled, they must all be the same. Uh, perfect. And let's see here. So uh, these each contain, as you said, whoops, oh, really packed in there too, isn't it? Uh, first off, here's one of those little uh, rubber ball uh, uh, worms. Those are great. By the way, uh, with these, um, eventually the worm, these worms don't last very long at all. So those get torn up almost instantly, but uh, you can pull them out and sort of stuff another one in and like using like the head of a nail or something to push it in there. Um, but, uh, or a very tiny screwdriver or whatever you've got on hand that's hard enough to push uh, something in there. And if you just stick them in really far, they usually hold in well enough to, to last uh, as long as they can. So that's a good way to get a little extra mileage out of these. Uh, probably something like that is what I'll do to get them into the poops, which I think is going to look really funny too, because the poops have that flat side they can sit, and then they'll have this long tail sticking out of the top of them. That's going to be fun if I can make that work. Oh, you sent a PetSmart gift card for each of the adopters as well. That is so generous. I just I love that. Um, it's it's. We gotta really appreciate that. You know, cats come with a lot of expenses, but uh, even practicalities aside, it's gotta be so nice for the adopters to get to pick something out for, for their kitties. So that's great. Uh, like you said, you sent greenies, which are a cat treat that is such a treat. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, when I give greenies to the kids, um, they afterwards they like they come after my fingers. They don't usually bite because most of them aren't bitey. Um, but they'll like sniff and lick and, and just be and sometimes even, you know, sort of try to nibble on my fingers. Like, are there more here? Because the greenies have such a scent to them that after you handle them, uh, they stick, that scent sticks around on your fingers and the cats go crazy for them. So really, really good treats, I think is my point. And then of course, one of the same little balls with the detachable feather. That is a great set of uh, toys for each one of these kittens and for their mom. They're going to love it. That is so nice of you to send. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let me put this back together. Here we go. There must have been some work to get all this stuff in here the first time. Okay. Let's see here. Gift card. There we go. Perfect. Well, Silo and his sisters and mom are going to love these. There we go. Let me just tie that up with a bow. Put them right in here for the moment. And we can add uh, their springs to them. There we go. Perfection. Okay. That leaves us with one box left uh, for mailbag today. Um, so, uh, crumb, uh, crummy and smidgy. Okay. Uh, here we have a recycled uh, Petco box, and I love, by the way, this mailing label is cut out in like this cool pink neon cloud. Uh, that's very artistic. I like it. It's just a little, little flourish. Ooh, knife guard. Ooh, and it's a big one. Ooh, look at that. That's all to guard against my knife. Also packing material, I think. Uh, but wow, I need a bigger knife if I'm going to get through that. Uh, let's see. Well, I see some, some things in here that are interesting. A hanger, one of the Adam toys. Uh, we'll get to that, though, because right on top we have the note. Okay to read. That's perfect. Someone who knows what's up. And it says, thank you, in a rainbow colors. Uh, I guess I can't say rainbow colors unless they're in order. In, uh, in multi-colors. There we go. All right. Dear Mr. A, I wanted to give you this picture when I came to pick up Hoodwink and Flim Flam because it reminds me of someone pretty cool, but there was a mix-up in shipping. Oh, well, if we're going to talk about that, I need to 
need to figure out what it is, but uh, let's see here. Oh, 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 this is so cute. I see it was wrapped up in a blanket. This does. This is adorable. Well, I'm sure you meant it reminds you of uh, Loganberry, because that's that's what it reminds me of. Uh, it's uh, it's adorable. Let's see here. Hang on. Wow, that is so cute. I love it. I just love it. There we go. Look at that. So it's an old uh, it's an old dictionary page. Actually, it starts. It's the dictionary page that goes from. Well, actually, according to this, this dictionary page goes from angularity to angularity. I'm not sure that uh, the person that printed this knows how a dictionary works, but that's okay. It says, uh, oh, I see. They've kind of repeated it. Uh, it didn't quite fill up the space. So the, the, the page goes, it's page 36, angularity to anata. And then uh, it reprints the angularity column at the end. Uh, but this this is like a watercolor of uh, an orange kitty wearing headphones, and his expression on his face is what makes it. Doesn't he just look so happy? You just want to boop that little nose. That is the cutest thing. Okay, so uh, you were saying, uh, I wanted to give you this one. I came to pick up Hoodwink and Flim Flam because it reminds me of someone pretty cool, but there was a mix-up in shipping. After finally fixing the problem, it made its way to me, and I was able to send it along to you. I hope you enjoy it. I've also included Valentine's toys and a blanket for you to deploy as you see fit. The kittens are having so much fun playing with all their toys. They're already sleeping in bed with me every night. I don't mind. Say hello to DJ. Give all the faculty extra pets for me. I hope Thimble isn't too spicy today. Uh, by the way, she's not. She's had a great day. She was like extra, extra spicy yesterday. And today I haven't had any spice for her yet. Fingers crossed. She's always the most spicy. Oh, she's at the cat door, which I locked because it is below, below freezing out there. But she knows how to open it. I'm afraid she's going to go out there to catch one of those little birdies. It's a ton of birds right now. I'm afraid she's going to smack her head on the door trying to push it open to go out there and get one of those birds. She looks like she wants to. She does know how to use the cat door. I, I, I know I said that just a second ago. She uh, she surprised me by, uh, I was looking for her in here one day and I couldn't find her. And then she came right in on her own too, uh, through the cat door. But I locked it last night because it is so cold out there. And I always worry that one of the kittens is going to sort of accidentally push it open and then, uh, you know, spend some time being confused about how to get back in. And I'm sure they figured it out, but it is just so cold. Um, yeah, ironically, uh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting your letter, uh, but it's it's so cold that our thermostat stopped working last night. I've got it working, so don't worry about it. We're, we're not cold here, um, but uh, it turns out that the way that our our thermostat downstairs is uh, functions, it's so old, the, the, the wiring port is so old that there's no power that goes to the thermostat from the, the uh, HVAC system. So instead, we, it's sort of a trick that, that a lot of these systems use is the air conditioner has a different voltage than the others. So if you connect the air conditioner line, it can draw power off the difference between the air conditioner line and, and the other stuff and get its power through the air conditioner, basically. Okay, long story short, uh, the air conditioner, though, that we recently put in a new modern air conditioner because our old ones died. And the new modern air conditioner has this safety feature that completely shuts it down if the temperature outside gets too cold. So last night is the first night where it got that cold and that power then goes away and all of a sudden the thermostat stops working. So it's ironic that if it gets too cold outside, our heat won't work. It's the practical upshot of that. Fortunately, uh, I can put in a battery backup and uh, have it run for a little while, but then again, another funny thing is the battery backup only works if I disconnect the air conditioner completely. So that was fun. Uh, uh, something I learned uh, late last night. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, say hello to DJ, fact the extra pets. I hope Thimble isn't too spicy today. Yeah, that was a long way from uh, Thimble's not spicy at all today. She's having, uh, she's having a good day? No, I'm the one having a good day. I'm sure she feels just as good every day. Um, but I'm the one having a good day because uh, I got to come down here and pat her and hang out with her and not even a hiss yet, uh, which is nice. You know, it really does seem like it's about leaving. Well, it's about a lot of things. She protects her food. She protects her kitten. She protects her favorite spots. But I think a lot of it is she doesn't 
she doesn't want to be separated from me. When, I, when I'm going to leave the room or something, that's when she seems to be spiciest. Um, Okay, you said, kiss the tiny tubs a little extra, and by the time you read this, I hope we're watching a new mom cat. Well, close, uh, very close. Thank you again for all you do. Love, Kelly, Hoodwink, and Flim Flam. Thank you so much, uh, Kelly and Hoodwink and Flim Flam. This is the cutest thing. I just love it. And uh, let's see what else is in here then. We have this great uh, feather wand, um, and it comes just in time as well. This uh, We usually keep a short wand by the bed that doesn't have a string on it, so I can play with these kids while we're up there. And the ones that we've been using, we got this, uh, somebody like a year or two ago sent us a whole bunch of these little tiny plastic wands that had real rabbit fur on the end. Uh, and uh, these kids have just shredded the last one of those, so this makes a perfect replacement. Although I might have to, I might want to cut the, the wand in half actually um, to make it even more perfect for that. So uh, anyway, this is this is ideal. That's perfect. Um, what else we have? Ooh, a Valentine uh, pop up with a, a, a bee in it. It looks like a bee, a very happy bee with his heart uh, all a Twitter uh, right there. Um, so this is a pop up box uh, for Valentine's Day. Oh, it sounds like he rattles, or there's something, no, there's something inside there that rat. oh, it's a silicon gel pack. <laughs> oh, man, I'm practically a cat now, aren't I? Uh, okay, uh, that's great, that's wonderful, and I should mention, um, you know, we don't normally do, like, holidays except for Christmas, but uh, I know last year or the year before, people started sending us Valentine's Day things, so I have a big set of boxes in the basement to pull out for Valentine's Day, and I'll just have to look at the calendar to figure out when that might be. I guess it is coming up real quick, isn't it? It's like February, like mid-February. Okay, I should check on that because we do have a lot of Valentine's stuff already to put out too. But uh, you're helping complete our uh, collection here. Oh, I love these lovebirds. They make a heart together. How cute is that? It's two lovebird toys, and they each have their cute little lovebird faces and the lovebird colors and the little uh, feathery tail. And then they sit together like this, and it makes a heart shape. I've got a real special place in my heart for lovebirds because uh, we always had a lovebird or two uh, growing up, and um, my mom liked to keep lovebirds. And they're uh, they're such cute, wonderful birds. The thing I remember most about lovebirds uh, from my childhood is that they, um, I guess, they're mostly sort of uh, well. The the thing that I was told, uh, I think, by my mom is if you have a lovebird, you just you know find or get a lovebird. They they aren't social at all. They don't. I mean, for, to people, they don't care for people very much. But if you hand raise them from the instant that they are hatched, then they will bond to people and be super affectionate and sweet uh, with their human beings. And we had one named Junior. Who, who was raised that way, and he was the sweetest thing when I was a kid. Uh, I remember mostly that he, like, he would be having breakfast at the breakfast table, and I would have cereal in the morning like you do when you're a kid in a bowl of milk, and he would want to get in the milk, and he'd splash it all around and pick up little Cheerios and carry them around and throw them places. He'd, he'd love to play with the Cheerios and toss them around. Uh, really cute that way. And then when he was done making a giant mess, he would climb up on your He'd get right up next to your face and he would rub against your face like a kitten does when they're affectionate. Uh, just the sweetest little thing. So those are super cute little lovebirds too. And they really do kind of look like lovebirds. I have a kitten crawling all around my back now. It, it must be uh, the girl. Um, sister. Sister. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now we have a beautiful Valentine's blanket with a, a nice wooden hanger on it too. Like that's... Uh, worth the cost of admission right there, and it says Deco Printed Plush Throw. It's a big one, though, and it's pink, and it's got all these cats hugging and holding hearts on it. Uh, that's adorable. Here, we'll show you the other side since that side's upside down. There we go. That's a nice, big, very plush throw, perfect for Valentine's Day, and a nice hanger. Ooh, too nice. Uh, here we've got these little, I don't know what you call these, but they look like atoms. I say that every time, like nuclei, except, again, for nuclei, you only need, like, two colors, not all these colors. Uh, but that's okay. I, I don't know what else to call them. So they're going to be atom toys for me. Uh, I, they're different color schemes, too. That's pretty cool. I guess they could be molecules. Eh, kind of. Not really. Whatever. Uh, okay. We'll say atoms. And uh, let's see here. We have these bright. Uh, neon mice with the fur. They've got this, this crazy fur, and they're in uh, 
reverse colors. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. We have fuzzy, very fuzzy play toy mice with, oh my goodness, sparkly, shiny ears. These are some very creative mice that you have sent. I don't know if you can see that those are like silver, silver ears. Uh, very cute. And it looks like some uh, more Valentine's Day. We've got these are those little mice with the funny uh, um, string tails that are the ones that are uh, one of Logan Berry's favorite things. Right after his worms, it's these things that he loves to play fetch with. He plays fetch with the worms too. But it's that particular style of mouse that uh, we see so many of. That, thank goodness there's so many of them around uh, that he loves to fetch with. And that most of the other cats that have played fetch, that's, that's sort of the first one that they really like to go for. Uh, okay, then we have a Valentine's set of balls. We got a couple plastic balls and a couple of uh, cloth, well, one cloth and then one that's like wrapped with uh, rope. Okay. Oh, and then finally we have the Valentine's Day uh, heart candies. Um, uh, what do you call those things? There's a name for them. That I, isn't there? My brain is telling me that there's a word that I want for these heart candies that I'm not getting. Uh, but it doesn't matter. They Anyway, they each say things on them. Be mine, of course, classic. But then the other ones are all kind of cat-related. One says forever. One says meowsome. Cool cat and perfect. Those are super cute. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I guess candy hearts. Uh, I don't know. What do you call those things? Why am I thinking that there's a word for that? I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for helping with the Valentine's Day decorations. Now I just have to figure out when, when that is and uh, make sure that we get some stuff out too, uh, which we will do. Uh, all right, that's it. That was Mailbag. How did we do for time? Oh, yeah, I filled up plenty of time. All right, uh, 1045. So like I promised, I'm going to take this stuff and put it away for now, including the Valentine's stuff, even though I've got the feeling of sneaking suspicion. I really should just leave it out. Um, I'm going to bring it down there, and then we can bring it all back up together at once. Uh, so I'm going to put the Valentine's stuff right here. And then I uh, don't even, wow, I don't even have enough boxes to really sort things out. I really do like, uh, we can make it work, though. Let's see here. I'll just grab a box from the front hall if I need one. I don't think I need one, though. I can just carry this stuff out. Uh, so these, uh, look at that, there's three of these, there's three of them. Uh, I'm going to put these in for now. That's, that's perfect. Okay, so that's one problem solved. The rest of this stuff uh, is kind of as you see fit or for deployment. So uh, as I was saying, I'm going to take this stuff, I'm going to get it all put away. I'm going to bring up the tissue fit immediately as I take this stuff down to the basement. It's in the basement. I'll bring it back up. Uh, easy peasy. We'll put it in, I think, the other room because there's several cameras that get good angles in there. And we'll let these kids have their first... Oh, wow, they just ran on the wheel for what may be the first time. Oh, they're both going over there, too. How about that? Is that on the ceiling camera? Can you see that far? Did you figure that out just now? Where are you going to go, sister? Uh, it helped. I hit the right camera. Yeah, I guess it is technically. You can see a little bit of it in the vast distance if you look real close. Maybe get a magnifying glass if you're watching on your phone. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to come bring back up the tissue pit. We'll let that go for a couple minutes, and then we'll wrap up the archive. And then, uh, like I said, I've got the annex to finish getting set. And tonight around 8 o'clock, you should expect to see and meet our new mom cat, who, uh, by the way, I don't have any good pictures of. Uh, the only one picture I did get was, was not even worth sharing um, because you can't see her face at all, or even her head is not even in the picture. <laughs> Uh, but she does look pregnant, and she's uh, all I can really say about her is that she's a dark uh, torty. So she's like black with like these golden uh, colors in her. Um, she's not uh, as uh, stripy modeled as some of the torties that we've seen. That she's more sort of a, like a splotchy, uh, but it's all like this this golden and black color. Uh, so real pretty, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll see all, all together tonight. So I'm excited about that. And uh, okay. Let me get to it. Oh, 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 way up. All right. Whew. We made it. All right. I'm going to put this away. Turn itself off and all. Oh, hit. I, uh, personally, I honestly think this is a perfect length for a mailbag. They should all be like this, in my opinion. 
we are, we, I mean, the marathon mail bags are cool, but uh, but when you when, all the time when they're, they're all marathons, that can, that can be too much, right? Am I right? <clears throat> What do you think? What do you think, huh? You don't play when I'm watching. I know you don't. I've only seen you play like once in real life. Otherwise, I have to spy on you from the stream, just like everybody else on the internet. Okay. What do you think? Oh, that's going to be a fun one for you. Okay. So let's see here. All right. This I'm just going to put in here so it can go downstairs the easy way. These are going to stay up here more or less. This needs some catnip applied, so we'll move that downstairs as well. These are endowments. I can go in the box, we'll just carry the whole thing down. Uh, in that case, we'll put the cards in too, because that's where they get stored. Okay. Good, good, good so far. And I'm going to collect those couple rubber poops and put them in the cabinet of toys so that we can try to maybe put some worms in them or just grab them and toss them around when we need some fun. There we go. Good. Thank you, look out. These, I'm halfway tempted to just take this painting and hang it up in the kitchen where uh, Bad Hal is uh, and see how long it takes DJ to notice that it's changed. I guess I could do that anyway and then later on move it someplace else. Hmm, maybe I will. did put it up temporarily. We'll see how long it, uh, it stays in that particular spot, but it's cute. Looks like she doesn't even know why. You know why? 
Maggie, back up. Maggie's right here, and I don't want her to try to rush in. I'll do that. You over here at the door meowing for me? You want me to come back so you can bite me again? I just, I was sitting out there for an extra second because, of course, the stream's about 30 seconds behind, and so I just could look up at the TV and watch that happen. And I see she came down off the chair on the other side. I had no idea. Hi, kids, let me show you all the way up there on top of that wall. Now she's talking to me. Like, I know you're packing stuff up to leave, and I don't want you to go, so let's, let's have some bites. Let's get some chomp time in. Whew! Wow, that was a big jump down. But you're fine. So I think you're fine. You seem fine. Okay. I know, I know, you're all worked up because I'm going in and out and in and out and you don't know if I'm just going to stay out. <clears throat> okay, I'll be right back with that tissue pick because this is going downstairs. Got to make sure that we manage the door. Giant tissue bit. It's got Christmas tissue in it too. I guess that tells you when I filled it. Uh, one more thing. Let's see. Actually, that's good enough. Okay, I guess you guys, I've got to speak up because the other camera's the one with the mic. I don't know. I'll move the mic in there. Let's do that at least.
She's definitely being a little extra spicy right now because Maggie and Logan and Ari are all right there. They all want to come in and play. And uh, she's not up for that. So a little bit of extra spice. But kids, kids, come here. What is all this? Come on, you know what this sound is. Come over here and play with it. I think they're a little concerned about what their mom might be doing. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a giant size tissue pit. It's a giant size spa tub. What? What? Come on, are we gonna even get bigger kittens in here? Get on in there, it's safe. Oh, be a tissue shark. Show your brother and sister what's up. Hey, oh, your little face looking out. You too, sissy. Come on, let's play. Come on, let's play. One more. No, 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 don't come after me because we're playing with your kids. I have nothing to do with Maggie out there. That's between you and her. One more, one more tissue pit. There you go. All right, kids. All right, how's that for fun? Look at the size of that one. We'll see if they like it or not, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna close this door though, because the faculty does want to come play and they might as well have the space and these guys might as well have the tissue pit for a minute.
What's up? It's a litter box party? <clears throat> it's a litter box party. All right. I think the kids are starting to settle down a little bit. I'm going to leave the tissue bit here for a while, but I'm going to end the archive now. So thanks for joining us for Mailbag. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. And thanks to everybody who sent everything. It's wonderful.